Ranking the best middle linebackers in Madden 23. We are back here with another tier list update. Today, we're going to be updating middle linebacker. Number four, do went ahead, re-rank the old cards and rank the new cards. I do want to go ahead, shout out the comment of the day. Now, old tier list real quick. I still think Pat Willis, by far and away, best linebacker in the game. And I don't think that changes today. What is going to change today is with the Sugar Rush Shot card, if you cannot beat 99 speed, I'm going to drop you down from S into A and so on like that. And now this is what the tier list is looking like before we get into the new cards. All right, so first card up right here we got terrence marshall jr terrence marshall jr is gonna be six foot three pass coverage arc 95 speed can be up to 97 with sugar rush track card good acceleration play rec is 94 don't think his impact blocking is too good but block shit hits 90 what's somewhat kind of rare with a lot of middle linebackers in this game 90 man and 90 zone a lot of people are not hitting that now for his traits the thing that i'd like to see on yes first off big hitter and also play ball and air aggressive a lot of linebackers though do not have play ball and air aggressive he can get deep end zone ko media him out or pick artist for zero which the thing on this card that sucks is for him to actually like animate and like be able to jump you still have to run lurker he doesn't get lurker for zero but he's a zero ap ko defender for me it's tough because i think linebackers need the lurker so for me i'm going to put him c or b I'm gonna go ahead and lean B though. 90 man and 90 zone is again pretty good. It, to me, it's just the fact that he doesn't get like a zero AP lurker. Like, if you got zero AP lurker and a medium like route KO, I'd probably put mess. And now right after that, we get Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley going to be the same exact speed, could be up to 97. He's five foot eleven this time, so a little bit shorter than Terrence Marshall as well. Good block shit again, not good impact blocking, but kind of like I was saying about Terrence Marshall, man and zone both over 90, a little bit rare for linebackers. And this time for his traits, no big hitter and play ball in air balance. Now for his abilities, he is is a zero AP lurker defender. And he could also get like the mid zone and short route KO for zero. For me, I'm gonna go ahead and say Saquon Barkley is on the same tier as Terrence Marshall. I don't mind that at all. Gonna put him B. After that, we got out of position, uh, John Elway at linebacker. That'd be six foot three, 215. Only going to be up to 96 speed. A little bit slower. Good play rec though with 95. The block shed's good and again, 90 man, 90 zone. So, so far it looks like that is really common, but I promise you it's not. This time for traits, no big hitter and play ball and air balance. Now for his abilities, he can go ahead and get deep route KO for zero, lurker, mid zone, or secure tacklers. For me, the secure tackler is going to uh, keep him B. And I promise not everyone's just going to be in this B tier. If he didn't get secure tackler, I probably would have put him C. And if you're like strictly trying to stop the AKA X factors, I could see why like he would be on the field for you. And now for the rest of the video, we just got 99 overalls. First one up right here is Ray Nitschke, 6'3, 235 field general. Amazing physical stats with great play rec as well. He can even rush the passer as well. So he's someone that if you want to drop into his zone, he can do that but he can also rush the passer like i was saying so pretty versatile block shed impact blocking damn they're perfect now this is kind of what they do with linebackers the man isn't good but the zone is absolutely amazing he has big hitter on yes and play ball and air aggressive again really really rare and this time for his abilities he can go ahead and get deep out zone ko lurker meter mount out of my way and secure tackler all for zero i think he is one of the best middle linebackers in the game i still think patrick willis is better even if he's a speed point slower but for me he is going to be top in the best tier i think he has a really good argument to be the best one in this tier and right after that we get sam mills so sam mills again can be up to 99 speed has 94 play rec this time he's five foot ten so a little bit shorter what i was saying about ray Nitschke, he can somewhat rush the passer but ray Nitschke way better at it and block shit and impact blocking again are great zone coverage 94 man again is super low this time he does have the big hitter trade on yes and uh play ball in there balance now for his abilities he can get uh deep outs on ko enforcer lurker mid zone and secure tackler all for zero for me sam mills is gonna go ahead and be like kind of right by eric kendricks i would still say he's s because again he's 99 speed all right so all the rest of the cards are going to be theme team remix cards meaning when we cover uh lane van Der Esch abilities all the other cards on the video are going to have the same exact abilities but these cards start out at 92s if we show max rings right here bam they're up to 99s lane van Der Esch though got kind of done a little bit dirty only 97 speed potentially 95 play rec isn't bad. Things with four is pretty nice. Block shit, impact blocking pretty good as well. Doesn't hit 90 zone. Uh, major red flag. No big hitter and play ball on air balance. Now they can get all the uh, X factors, which if you want to make the argument that they should be higher because they could get this kind of see it but for his abilities and literally all the other cards abilities crusher enforcer lurker and tackle supreme all for zero for me though van Thresh not hitting 90 zone that is gonna go ahead and like like i like his x factor and everything like say hypothetically he just 
didn't have the X factors and stuff, he'd be C for me. But given he has that, I'm gonna go ahead and put him B tier. And now right after that, we get Jermaine Pratt. So Jermaine Pratt, we're gonna again show max ratings. And pretty similar story, uh, can be up to 97 speed, 98 play rec is amazing, and 96 zone, 80. Man, this time for his traits, playable on air conservative, we do not like that, no big hitter either. And again, gets the same exact abilities as Leighton Van Der Esch. So for me, I think very similarly of those two cards, I think they are going to rank literally right by each other for me. Both gonna be B tier. And now right after that, we get Cody Barton right here. So Cody Barton, we're gonna go ahead and show max ratings. And again, 95 speed could be up to 97, 92 play rec. Something that people might not have noticed so far as agility seems to always be a lower stat on these cards. So he actually isn't like that. He's a little bit, he's a little bit rare. Six foot two, 237, good power move. So again, gives you that versatility to rush the passer. Block shed, impact blocking are really good. Zone coverage, again, good man, not too much. And this time for his traits, no big hitter and play ball on air conservative. If he wouldn't have had play ball on air conservative, I would have put him A. But again, I'm gonna go ahead and put him by the other linebackers we covered so far with theme team remix. I think they're all gonna play pretty similar. And now we get Roquan Smith. So Roquan Smith, show max ratings right here. And this time he can be up to 98 speed, has amazing play rec, he's six foot field general has 84 finesse moves 87 power moves and eh, can kind of score to rush the passer like everyone at this point is getting like 90 plus for both of these stats block shit and impact blocking are good man coverage 85 zone coverage 95 and i believe he gets every single afc team chem so if you run an afc theme team i would put him s tier but i don't really do my rankings based on theme teams and this time for a trades big hitter on yes play ball and air balance for me uh like i said if you have him on a theme team i think he is s but no theme team i'm gonna go ahead and put him a and he's one of my like more favorite cards in the A tier. Right after that, we get Juwan Bentley. So Juwan Bentley, show max upgrades right here. And again, can be up to 97 speed, has 96 play rec, slight pass rush, not really great though. Block shed and impact blocking are good. Does not hit 90 zone on the base card, hate that. And he has literally no man coverage and traits, no big hitter and play ball on air conservative. I think he is the worst one we covered so far. For me, he is going to be like right by Cody Barton and them. Again, though, it's really like the X Factor and stuff saving him. I kind of want to put this card C. And after that, we get Luke Keekly. So Luke Keekly show max upgrades right here. Can be up to 99 speed. Amazing play rec. Great power move. Block shin, impact blocking are great. And again, it's great zone coverage. He's six foot three. And this time, big hitter on ES, play ball on air aggressive. He is also, in my opinion, one of the top end linebackers in the game. He is going to go right at the tip of the top end of S tier for me. After that, we get Alex Singleton. So we're going to go ahead again, show max upgrades right here. Can be up to 97 speed, 94 play rec. Good power moves this time. Finesse moves 83. Block shit and impact blocking are literally perfect and has 99 zone coverage. Amazing. And this time for his traits, no big hitter and play ball on air balance. And again, zero AP lurker and linebacker. Uh, to me, he is going to go right by uh, all these team team remakes guys. Going to go in the B tier. And for the last card of the video, we got Derek Johnson right here. So Derek Johnson, show max upgrades and he can be up to 98 speed. Good play rec. Finesse moves are pretty decent they're okay 80 block shed impact blocking are great and amazing zone coverage not the best man in the world and this time for trades big hitter on yes and play ball on air aggressive if you have him on a theme team i would say he is s tier but on no theme team 98 speed he's gonna go right by uh roquan smith for me and yeah y'all this has been my updated middle linebacker tier list in madden 23 ultimate team let me know your thoughts down below in the comments let me know what you agree with what you disagree with who do you think should go up who do you think should come down now if you did enjoy this video and you enjoy content like it make sure to leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date with the best cards in Madden 23. Now, if you want to see me use some of these cards live, check the links in the description. Hit that Twitch with a follow. We have been grinding the streams over there, so I would greatly appreciate that. Now, if you don't feel like heading over to Twitch and you want another video to watch, check this one out right here. I ranked the best strong safeties in Madden 23.